Right, so today we have the review of the Psych Plus. Now this is like a portable pump. It's pretty light, it's 97 grams, so it's actually like respectable. Um, what's the main advantage over a normal pump? I'd say like normally I have a back pump in my pocket. Instead, I have this. Big advantage, I feel like less dangerous. Like if you land on a pump and it's only a spine, it's not ideal. I've always, that's kind of why I've always had a pump like on my bike and not necessarily in my back pocket. But recently I decided that was getting annoying so anyway i think it's a big advantage in terms of that um it's kind of lighter than a co2 or similar weight to a co2 i don't use co2 just because it's always kind of bamboozled me of um how you actually get it to work and also just in terms of like um the whole if you you know you need to pump up a lot of times so the question is with this how many times do you get a pump now this is kind of the golden question they reckon two times 25 c I reckon a little bit more. If you're happy to go like 40 or 50 PSI, you can get a little bit more. But the question is, if you've only got one inner tube, 90% of the time, you just pump that up and no stress. And like, if you're on tubeless, then it's kind of more stress because if you get slow puncture, it doesn't seal. You can use this, but it might run out. But I think all in all, it's a pretty decent piece of tech. It says it reaches 80 PSI in 80 seconds, which again, is not bad. So anyway, I've got a wheel with me here. Uh, it is flat. And we'll show you how it works. So this is like the little piece of equipment. Whack it on the old here. Then you double tap a button. Right. So that was it. Not not too bad. It's probably got. Mm, maybe 40, 50 PSI, which for, for uh, what's it called? 28 mil is enough for me. Obviously, like, the wider the tire is, you kind of need less, need less pressure, but obviously the same air volume. So anyway, what's the verdict of this? Would I buy it? Now, it's pretty expensive, I'm not going to lie. 90 quid, I reckon I would not be buying it at the moment. I reckon when it comes down in price, it'll be a no-brainer. 100%, like, if you've got unlimited money, I'd buy one, because it's just quite convenient having it in the back pocket, um, and then, you know, you're going to get... A decent use of it charges in 20 minutes so minimal stress if you've got a light that can charge on it unlimited pumping so i'd say in that sense it's pretty iconic um however i think at the moment nine dollars a little bit steep um however i do have a discount code below so if you do want to get it um cheaper then discount code will be in the link in the description but apart from that it just kind of works charged by USB C, um and yeah just general good piece of tech um and i think when it comes down in price no one's gonna be hacking around with like 10 years time no one's hacking around in co2 so i guess you might as well just get one now but no real downsides i guess um except like if you have nine punctures could be an issue but if you've got nine punctures you know, a ride's cooked anyway so yeah anyway just watching hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one